Um, I guess my biggest question as far as batteries right now is um, how much are prices going to fall? We've already seen them come down, I think, like 70 percent in the last uh, five or six years. How much more do you expect battery prices to fall? And how is that for your business? Well, um, I, I think um, I think if prices will will continue falling, and uh, um, and and I think um, as you probably have seen in in Frankfurt now, you know the big auto companies are starting to see uh, the battery roadmaps aligning also with uh, their cost expectation, which means that they can kind of transform their product portfolio even even in faster pace, um, and and it, it will be. Um, it will be a, a pressure. However, I, I do think that the pressure will be driven much by by improvements in energy density um, on on uh, uh, on the batteries, um, and uh, uh, together with with the economies of scale of, of large scale manufacturing uh, platforms. So I, I think uh, I think there is a, a great opportunity to build a, a healthy business around batteries uh, even going forward. So energy density density is also obviously a key, maybe the key. How much um, horsepower equivalent do you expect to be able to create for a decent weight? I mean, what's a power to weight ratio that you think we're going to be able to get to in the near future? I, it's it's a um, it's a it's a super good question. But if, if if you look at historically, you can see that that uh, energy density has uh, uh, pretty much uh, doubled every ten years, and and uh, you know even though there's never been more research done on batteries, I think yeah, at least it's a it's a fair expectation to to, to see that doubling also. In, in the next uh, 10 years. So, so you know, somewhere 2025 to 2027, I think you will see the next doubling of, of, uh, of that um, in, in terms of either range or, uh, or, or a lighter pack for the same range. Peter, good morning. It's Guy. Um, we ran a story yesterday that BMW is looking at owning mines because it needs to control the inputs into this process. Um, where are the bottlenecks? I mean, um, when when the auto industry transforms uh, like this, and, and we see such a massive increase. I mean, if we look at uh, just our own estimates, we think that the, just the demand in Europe will go from from about five gigawatt hours of lithium-ion batteries in 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 2015 to over 200 in 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 2025. And of course, uh, that will put uh, uh, stress on 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 battery manufacturing but the entire supply chain from uh, uh, from mines uh, of, of nickel cobalt uh, lithium manganese uh, graphite will be uh, in focus but also refinery um, uh, structures how to to get these materials up to the high quality levels that that we need for for battery manufacturing and then we have material preparation uh, for the anode and cathode and and so there is a whole supply chain that needs to be built up in in this and yeah. and i expect a bit of a roller coaster uh during the next um, 10 years to be honest um how once you're done with the battery how much of it is recyclable how much of it is reusable well, um, if you look at, at um, the, the structure as it is today, um, um, the, the, I would say there is not a great solution for, for um, lithium-ion recycling. Today, it's, it's by, by melting, which is which, uh, uh, really not recycling anything of the lithium, and, and it recycles a bit of, of the others. Uh, I, but but there, is, there is very interesting research uh, in, in a number of, of different institutes around the world. Uh, and I think some of them, the most um, uh, interesting areas is around re actually reversing the manufacturing process um, so that you can bring back uh, both lithium, cobalt and, and, and nickel uh, into, uh, into the manufacturing. And, and uh, we are putting um, a, a big effort in, in, uh, in some of those projects in order to have a, a circular economy as part of our business plan. Peter, how, uh, I'm not sure how it is in Sweden here in Germany. There are not a lot of supercharger stations. Are you confident that the infrastructure for all the electric cars that automakers kind of announced it in Frankfurt earlier this week is going to be there? I mean, don't we need to build out a lot in terms of infrastructure? 
Yeah, I, I mean, we do. I mean, the beauty, though, is is that we already have an electricity grid um, that is is very very well developed in in uh, in, in the entire. Uh, Europe, Europe, and and so it's it's just the last piece of that grid um, to for the chargers that we we need to to develop, and and um, I I think uh, uh, you know having been at Tesla, seeing how we build out the uh, the superchargers, etc. Uh, you know when the industry puts an, an aim uh, to get uh, at it, um, it will happen, and it will happen fast.